Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today I'm super excited. I am finally back at home, home from college just for a little bit before I leave for my internship this summer and I really wanted to sit down and film a video for you guys. As you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm gonna to be talking about college essentials, things that you should pack before leaving for college. I'm sure a lot of you guys just decided on your college plans for the upcoming semester and it's super exciting but it's also can be really stressful because there's a lot that needs to go into like packing and getting ready and all that fun stuff and I feel like packing for college is one of those things where you often forget like the silly little things so hopefully this video will be helpful and it will kind of remind you guys to just kind of pick some things up before you head on out but yeah I definitely was filming more college related videos recently and I got a lot of great feedback I asked you guys what you want to see and this was one of those videos now these are just kind of like things that that I think are like necessities that you totally should have with you. Um, there are other things that I'm not gonna be mentioning that I feel like are pretty common sense, like towels and like laundry detergent, like things like that, that I feel like are easier to get honestly when you get there or just like decorating things that you can pick up. All right, so let's get started. So first thing I have written down is storage. So storage is super important. I feel like sometimes, you know, you don't have much space in a college apartment or wherever you're living. So it's important to have furniture or like storage compartments where you can store things. So for me, uh, my parents, my mom was the one that got all my furniture. She did such a great job. So I'm very blessed and happy about that. But she picked up these two bookshelf things, which are relatively inexpensive. I'll insert a picture of what it would look like. I keep going like this. So here's the picture. It's super easy to set up and not too pricey and it stores a lot. So you buy like the shelf on its own and then you can purchase individual bins to put in, which is what I did. So I got two of these shelves. They have eight compartments, like squares to fit stuff. And in one of them, I put um, vertical and I put my clothes in that one. So that one has bins in every single square. And that's like my clothing bin. Um, and then I had another one and that was actually my TV stand. So that one holds my TV and that one is horizontal. And then I put, I think, four bins in that one. So I kind of left four open so I can just put like plants or books or something like that. But it's really great. There's so much that you can store. Things that like aren't cute I would put in there just because you can't see it kind of a thing. So I highly recommend this. I also wanted to mention one more piece of furniture that I absolutely love and I feel like is so versatile. And even if you're not in college, I would recommend it. So it's this little wheelie cart. I'll again, insert a picture of what it looks like. I want to say it's like $30 from Target or Walmart. I have mine in white and it has three um, like storage areas and I use it for food actually so I'll store like my pasta and like things like that in there I also would recommend using that for like your bathroom to store like all your bathroom things in there there's just so many different uses for it I think it's a really great thing it's also really great if you like have like a lot of makeup just to store that you can kind of like move it around wherever you're gonna do your makeup so huge fan of that again super affordable it's amazing okay the next thing I want to mention is a coffee machine so this definitely only applies like if you are a big coffee drinker but I know personally that it is very easy to rack up money on coffee purchases. I highly recommend getting a coffee machine if you are a big coffee drinker. Um, you're going to be drinking a lot of coffee in college just because of like morning classes, like late nights, things like that. And I recommend saving your money and just buying like a nice coffee machine before college. One that you know is easy to use and that you like the coffee and that will hopefully save you some money and some time. So I think that's like a very important thing. Make sure you have like a good coffee machine. That way you're not like spending tons of money on campus and things like that. I also want to mention a toaster. I feel like this might be really simple and silly and maybe not all of you guys need it. But I love my toaster. I got it for like $15 at Target. Again, I like I mentioned, I'll like link everything down below that I have. Um, I got like very affordable things and everything is lasted and held up. So that's why I'm going to like link it because I recommend it <laughs> if you're like balling on a budget. But um, yeah, I like sometimes when I'm running out the door, like I had 8 a.m. classes last semester. I would just like pop a, a waffle in the toaster and run out the door. It's just super easy and convenient or even like a slice of toast. And I feel like a toaster is one of those things where you like kind of forget to get it. You know what I mean? So definitely recommend getting like a small little toaster just to keep in your apartment it definitely comes in handy on those like early morning days. I also have written down a smoothie maker. So again, only if this applies to you, but I found smoothies to be like one of my favorite things to make in college. 
just because like it doesn't go bad if you just buy like frozen fruit from Trader Joe's it's relatively inexpensive and it's like a good source of protein it kind of keeps you full it's like, one of those things again that I like to like make as a meal when I'm going to class so I can like sip on it during class and whatnot or take with me to the library really recommend um, you can do a lot of things with it. I mean, obviously you don't have to make a smoothie. You can make like a milkshake or whatever. But um, yeah, I actually don't really care for the one that I got. I'm actually going to be getting a new one before going back this semester. But I will link below the one that I recommend that I've heard a lot of great things about. It's the Nutribullet from Amazon Prime. I think it's like $50. But definitely worth it. I've heard a lot of great things. And that's the one I know I'm going to be purchasing very soon. Okay, and then while we're on like the kitchen area, I did want to mention also just like two silly little things. So make sure you get a can open. Um, in college you want to be purchasing food that like won't go bad quickly most of the time I mean obviously you can purchase like fruits and things like that but I think it's important to have like a lot of canned goods and like pasta and stuff like that like things just food items that like won't go bad so um, can opener is one of those little things that you forget to get I feel like so definitely get one of those and then personally I forgot a wine opener and it was so annoying because I remember I had like a bottle of wine and I just couldn't get it open um, so definitely bring a wine opener if you're like into wine. Okay, I also wrote down grocery reusable bags. And the reason why I recommend um, bringing this or purchasing this, they're super cheap when you go to like Trader Joe's or like wherever your grocery store is, like those big bags that you can carry your groceries in because, sorry, that's like my obnoxious news report on my phone. Um, but back to what I was saying, yes, um, it can be really annoying if you like live up, like if you have to travel up the stairs to get to your apartment or however far it is. Usually that's the case. So getting those bags just makes the trips a lot easier and like you don't have to do it as often. Um, it also saves a lot of plastic, but um, I do recommend it. it. I always forget to bring mine when I go to the grocery store. Like I have them, I just forget to bring it. So I recommend leaving it in your car or whatever or like by your door so you can see it. But definitely comes in handy, just like a little hack right there. Definitely make sure you utilize those. Also want to mention cash. So cash is important. Um, for me personally, they didn't have my bank in my college town, which was crazy to me because I have Chase and I just feel like Chase is like pretty well known. I think they just got one, but they did it when I first got there. And you're going to need cash if you're going to like the bars or clubs and stuff like that. A lot of the times in order to get in, you need cash. So in order to like, instead of having to go to an ATM and spending money doing that because it adds up, I swear um make sure you have cash with you or even just for like emergencies or for your laundry you're gonna need quarters usually so cash is really important to have on hand um little tip if you go to Publix you can get like free cash back or I think Target as well allows you to do that I don't know about Walmart but I know Publix and Target for sure like let you get cash back so if you're like if you don't have like a bank nearby like I didn't definitely do that okay lots of clothes the reason why I say this is because, again, it depends on like where you're going to school. I go to Florida State, so it can be really cold and it can be really hot. So I just recommend bringing like an assortment of clothes. I also recommend bringing lots of workout clothes. I know on college campuses you're walking a lot, so make sure you have a good pair of sneakers and just like a lot of comfortable clothes with you because honestly, like, I would rarely ever dress nicely unless I needed to like at morning classes and whatnot. Like there was just, I didn't have anyone to impress to be honest with you and I just want to be comfortable. I walk a lot on campus, so I like to have like a good pair of sneakers. Highly recommend. Like I know you think you're going to dress really cute all the time, but you're not, so just prepare yourself like lots of comfy clothes and then with that being said depending on your major but even I feel like for anyone like you're going to probably do an interview at some point um, make sure you have like professional clothing that you can wear obviously not everyone goes to college with like a suit and that's totally respectable you don't need to have one usually freshman year but um, you will need to probably get one at some point so bring some like blouses or something um, just in case I know as a business major I wear professional attire quite frequently so my professional section of my closet has grown quite immensely but again I think it depends on your major and like what year you are if you're not gonna be interviewing right away you probably have a couple years where you can like save up to get those things but um definitely something to just keep in mind like bring some professional attire with you to college okay I also wrote down a whiteboard and this again totally is not for everyone but I know for me it came in handy a ton so I have a whiteboard in my room sometimes I use it as a calendar sometimes I use it to help me study and it's just like the greatest thing I think I got mine at Walmart for like 10 or 12 dollars and I love it it's great it helps me with like my math more related classes but any honestly anything I just think it's nice to have one and it's like again a reusable calendar if you want it to be so uh, I recommend it I think it's just like a nice thing to have in your apartment okay I also wanted to briefly talk about laptops so this is like a really important thing and I feel like this is 
I think the right place to put this information in, I'm not sure. But um, definitely make sure you have like a reliable laptop with you. If it's on the brim of dying or whatnot, like be prepared, like save up and get a new one because my laptop is my life in college. Like I have it with me pretty much all the time. I like there's honestly never a moment where I don't have my laptop. And another thing I wanted to quickly mention is that Okay, so this doesn't apply to everyone, but as a business major, I use Excel a ton. I feel like almost all my homework is done in Excel, and I just wanted to mention that, like, I've been a Mac user forever, like, I honestly, since I can first remember, and Macs are not the best for business majors because Excel, you can't use all of its functionality in on a Mac computer, so I always have to go to the library and use a Dell in order to get a lot of my homework done. Um, so looking back, I kind of wish I knew this information um, because I might have gotten a different laptop just knowing that information that I know now. So if you are a business major and you are in the market to purchase a new laptop before college, definitely do some research, um, look into it. Don't like jump to get a Mac because everyone has one because I swear to you, I wish I didn't have one for the for the fact that I'm a business major, but if you're not, I mean, totally go with a Mac. They're super reliable, very fast. I love mine, but I just wanted to mention this in case you're in the same boat as me. Shoot, so I mentioned sneakers earlier. Definitely make sure you have like a really good pair of like running shoes or just like comfortable sneakers. But I did want to mention that if you are planning to like go to a bar or club or something like that, be prepared for your shoes to get ruined. This was information that I didn't really know. You could definitely purchase like a pair of cheap shoes or bring shoes that you don't care about that are cute that you can wear like tennis shoes or like a cute pair of inexpensive heels but know that like those are your club heels that you won't wear anywhere else because they're going to get really dirty so just be prepared for that a lot of times that is the case where there's just like drinks all over the floor and like dirt and your shoes aren't going to look cute so those are all the things that like came to mind when i was thinking about like the most important or most used things that i brought to college i feel like i'm totally leaving out some really important things so if i forget anything and i remember it later on when i'm editing this video. I will definitely be sure to put it in the info box down below, so check that out. I will also link everything that I've mentioned um, in case you're looking to purchase it and whatnot. And I do have videos from last year, right before I moved to college, that I like do a like apartment haul. So if you want to check that out, that's more like decor and like little things like that. Definitely look into that. And be sure to let me know down below like what you guys want to see next. Um, I know a lot of you guys are getting ready to go to college and you love these types of videos. So let me know what you'd love to see and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.